So now here's the circuit I felt like uh, building and making a uh, video about. So we have the uh, LEDs. As you can see, they're uh, lined up like that. That's the schematic for the circuit. As I turn the voltage of this uh, trim pot up, it could be any voltage source. We're uh, using the uh, transistor as an amplifier. There you can see that the bottom LED lit up. As I keep turning the voltage up, the next two LEDs light up. They should light up at the same time but the one at the bottom seems a little bit more eager to light up. And again, we have the three above that. They should all light up at the same time, but again, the bottom one is a little bit more eager, as is the middle one, and then the uh, one in the rear wants to take its time. So I say they should light up uh, together, the two of them there and the three of them there at the same time because they're all new LEDs. I just took them out of the case. They should not have been used at all. And uh, so when they have the same amount of current, you would think they'd have about the same amount of brightness, but uh, they don't. So I just arranged them in order so that uh, the ones that light up a little bit sooner are uh, down lower, and uh, I think it turned out uh, pretty well that way. So now we'll take a closer look at the circuit. We have a, a trim pot here. This is a 10,000 ohm trim pot. The uh, top pin and the bottom pin have 10,000 ohms of resistance uh, between them. Along that resistance is a wiper. That's that middle pin right there. It slides across that resistance So we get a fraction of the uh, power supply voltage. We have a 9 volt power supply right there So we can go all the way down to 0 volts or all the way up to 9 volts Now this will not light LEDs very good at all And so we are sending that voltage to a transistor an NPN bipolar junction transistor I'm using a 2N2222 right there it's wired as an emitter uh, follower. So we will have the voltage at the emitter that is the same as the base, except for we're gonna lose about 0.6 volts. So it'll be about 0.6 volts lower. Otherwise it is transferring uh, that voltage. This 10 kilo ohm resistor helps uh, maintain that. So we got the 2N3904 there, the uh, flat side facing us. So left is the emitter, middle is the base, and the right is the collector. And uh, the screwdriver is magnetized, so it uh, grabbed it. So we're gonna swivel it this way now. The emitter is at the bottom. Emitter is the arrow right there, and uh, we'll just stick it right there. And uh, we just got that jumper to make space. We're extending the emitter to that row as well. Now, as an emitter follower, you may get away without this 10 kilo ohm resistor. It doesn't have to be 10K either, but uh, it helps to uh, maintain that voltage there because especially when you're working with semiconductors, they might uh, confuse the uh, voltage of the circuitry. Whereas here, now we have, even though there's resistance, it can now tell uh, where ground is better. And now we're gonna place the LEDs. So first, we're gonna focus on the three series ones. So they're gonna drop more voltage, and thus I have a lower value uh, resistor right there to uh, try to get some more current out of it, because there'll be a less uh, total voltage there. And I have them lined up in the order that I'm gonna place them. And uh, normally I kind of work my way from the bottom up, but uh, it'll be harder to see what we're doing there. So I'll uh, stick that one in the middle. So of course the long lead, the anode to uh, the resistor, short lead the cathode down because that is headed towards ground. You have to put them in the right way. And uh, we're gonna put this one, just one more row down. Again, long lead anode above the short lead, the cathode. And we have the cathode, the short lead going to the ground jumper there, long lead the anode going to the cathode of the LED below it. And now we can uh, kind of squish them together because they're just off uh, a little bit there. Now we're gonna do the uh, the middle row right there. And uh, so I have them here and we can take this. I already have the jumper spaced so that if I go right below where uh, that LED is, we will have it lined up, right? So this next LED, is going on its own two rows as far as the LEDs are concerned. Long lead anode up, short lead cathode down. And then this one, I want to put it below that one there. And now we have them in series. And we can squeeze them together, as you can see there. They line up uh, all right. And then this one, we can put uh, right below that one if we want. Make them line up just a little bit uh, easier. Since there's not as much blocking, we'll put the resistor second right there. You should be able to see. So this is higher value uh, resistor as we get less LEDs. So that ultimately, when 
we have a high enough voltage, hopefully they have about the same amount of uh, current going through them. So we could fine tune this uh, better, but uh, this is good enough uh, for now. So let's uh, demonstrate. I didn't turn the power off for this build, and as you can see, they're lighting up as uh, we saw before. We can line them up a little bit uh, straighter so they look a little bit better. But in any case, not going to drag this on. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.